Now I gotta de floaty pants. I was farting in my wetsuit. Good morning, Trainiacs. Just a regular old Monday here with the gang. Still sans Coach Pat, I believe. Got back from his French bicycle adventure yesterday, but sounds like. Uh, is he there? Is he there? Is he there? No, no Coach Pat. I think he just flew back yesterday, so wasn't feeling a long swim today. After my long swim yesterday, this is another floaty pants day. And my goodness, with 5,200 meters staring at a black line yesterday, I am investing in some serious underwater MP3 player action. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. Captain America Speedos, I think, got officially retired. They've got soggy bum syndrome. So I figured I'd class it up with this tie-dye leopard print number. No. No. Oh my god, it's so hot. I've already decapped. Now I got de floaty pants. I think it's 88 degrees. I don't know how much more of this I got left. Too much, it's too hot. What does your, uh, your pool science tell you about that? <laughs> One page, stop. And do sprints? Uh, how hard would it be to heat this pool by eight degrees? 67,000 Tim Taylor BTUs? Holy moly, that was some serious heat. None of us could do any more than that. I'm gonna do a little shoulder strength routine back at the office, we'll get there. And I wanna give you probably three keys to how to train for a marathon swim. It's not as hard as you think. I mean, hell if I can do it. All right, to end it off, we'll do that core one routine that I talked about last week. And it went really, really fast last week because if I didn't, that's all the vlog would be because it's like a six minute routine. So what I'm gonna do is right now, we're gonna speed it up for the sake of the vlog. And if you want to get that full routine that I do right here in its entirety so that you can see it slow down, go to my website, triathlonterran.com slash core one, one spelled out, C-O-R-E-O-N-E. -E. Okay, we'll do it right here. Oh, and start with something like 10 seconds, increase to 12, 15, all the way up to 30 seconds. If you get to 30 seconds, I'd be really impressed. That's it, now you got a strong foundation. Off to the office and I will, you have been this dirty this whole time? To the office and I'll tell you how you too can swim a marathon. Am I in focus? I think so. This is gonna be hard because I'm right in the wrong way. Okay, I think that there are three things that are important to figure out if you are doing an ultra endurance event. So whether that's a marathon swim, an ultra run, um, an ultra triathlon, anything like that. With these three things, you can conquer any of them. I'll relate it all to how I'm approaching the marathon swim, and then you can translate it across whatever sport you're gonna do. And those three things are, number one, you gotta build your volume. You gotta get your volume way, way up and your endurance way up. Number two, you have to figure out your nutrition and what works for you. And number three, you gotta keep your body healthy and strong. In the ultra swim, I am swimming 39 kilometers. And I think that with the currents, it's probably gonna take us somewhere around nine and a half to 10 hours. I don't know, total guess. That doesn't mean that I have to go and do all my training swims and build up to seven or eight hours. Once you get to around a training swim of like four hours or so, you've found a groove in your body that is a sustainable pace for like literally days on end. What I'm doing is building up my endurance swim with one long swim every single week that gradually gets a little bit longer and I work back from four hours to today. So what we did last Sunday was we did beep, boop, a training swim of 90 minutes. Then a week later, 100 minutes. Cause I wanna increase from week to week by 10%. I wanna take a rest week in the middle. So in here, instead of taking a week entirely off, I'll probably go back down to somewhere around 90 minutes because even though it's a fairly long swim, because my body had got used to the 90, got used to the 100, 
this will feel like more of a rest. Then I'll go back to increasing this by 10 to 15% and the next swim will be somewhere around 115 minutes and we keep going. Keep gradually building up from 90 minutes to 100 minutes, back down to 90. It's like two steps forward in endurance, one step back to rest. Two steps forward, one step back to rest. Until I've gradually built up to doing a training swim of about four hours. So that takes care of your endurance. Next. Oh, and you've just got to swim a whole bunch. So instead of swimming three days a week, I'm probably swimming five. And that's just getting your body used to swimming all the friggin' time. Now getting into the nutrition, I figured that out by testing in the workouts what I intend the nutrition to be during the long swim. So let's say I have a, is that long enough? Oh, perfect. Call it a 150 minute, a two and a half hour long swim. You want to fuel your body every half hour during an endurance event at least. So we are going to stop when we do the long swim every half hour. And then what we do in our training swims is break it up in half hour chunks. Boop, 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 boop. Here, 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 here. Lots of food at the end. You wanna go somewhere around anywhere between 150 and 250 calories every half hour with some electrolytes built in. And it's really just about seeing what works with your body. In my case, gels tend to work really well for me in triathlons, but in ultra long endurance events, I need something that is a little bit heartier. Something that's more of a complete meal, which is why the Hammerade Perpetuum mixed with a little bit of a gel works for me. Some people, they use Boost. Like they use really thick, heavy food because they can digest that. One thing that I will give you as a caution is to not lay on too much. I was doing that at the start of my marathon swimming a few years ago and I was farting in my wetsuit all the time. So back off the amount of food that you need down to a level that is just enough to keep you going, but not so much that your body can't digest it because all the blood is in your arms and your legs and it's not really in your stomach. So it's gonna have a tough time getting it out as it is and laying on tons of food is not the answer. Last thing, that's better because I don't need to draw on the board for this. The strength of it all is giving your body the foundation to keep itself together for that length of time. As I mentioned before, if you look at really elite Ironman athletes, they are stronger, they're more built, they're thicker than the short course athletes. And that's because with that amount of pounding and that amount of repetitions, your body needs to be stronger in order to get through it. So in my case, after every single workout, I now have to do a lot of core stability as you saw this morning, a lot of shoulder work, not just like working out little aches and pains, we're talking actually maintaining the structure of your body because when you're going for that length of time, any little imperfection in your technique, everyone has them, that imperfection is going to translate into soreness and aches and pains in your body. And if it's not strong enough to be able to delay those aches and pains for like days, you're gonna have a hard time getting through that long endurance event pain-free. So you gotta keep your house in order. And there, if you go through basically that systemized approach, of just every week ticking off the boxes and getting a little bit stronger, a little bit more endurance focused, figuring out your nutrition. Going through that process is not that tough. And by the time you get to the race, it's just a matter of getting it over with. That's literally how it felt in 2013 when we did our marathon swim. It was like, not can I do it? It's like, all right, I just need to get through the next eight hours because I knew I was going to be able to do it. And I think that that's it for today with the vlog. Get out there and enter like an ultra something, Trainiacs. See ya.